So, how many of you have ever taken a bath? Can you please show your hands? You may be wondering what kind of question it is. The better would be how many of you have taken bath today? See, anyone who has ever taken a bath has got an idea. Jo bhi kabhi na kabhi nahaya hai, usko koi na koi idea aaya hai. Because ideas hit you when you are at peace. And we are at peace or the most peaceful place in our surroundings happens to be our bathrooms. So, anyone who has taken a bath has got an idea. But it, it is the one who comes out of the shower, dries up themselves and does something about it makes the difference. When idea hits you, you start thinking about different aspects of it. When I am speaking this, you may be able to relate each one of you because I am sure everyone gets idea someday or the other. So you can keep nodding when you relate with what I say. So when we get idea, we keep thinking about it. We thinking we keep thinking about its different aspects, and we somehow we get a broader picture, or we get a vision. And just when you are about to develop it more, if you if you are still in the bathroom, you will get a knock on the door. Kitna time or lagega, right? And if you are already out of it. And you're getting ready to office or you're getting or you're driving to college or your your office, your phone may ring. You may get a beep sound, WhatsApp notification. You got a message from your boss or from your teacher that you need to hurry up, come fast, there is an urgent meeting. And the reality hits you. You try to address those things. Promising to yourself that yes, you will come back to the idea and work on it further. But that rarely happens. Because the idea was still there in my mind. And it is volatile. When I get down to my routine things, it will vanish. But some of us who are blessed enough or maybe who are lucky enough or maybe who get to born in a family with full of resources. See, that's how we look at people who are who become successful. That they are lucky. Or they have they had all the resources. So what's the big deal? But it is the people who value those ideas, who value those moments, and express those ideas. Express either in writing. You can write down the ideas and whatever thoughts that come to your mind around that idea. And in these day, in today, today's world, we have mobile device in our hand. So you can keep typing. As soon as you get an idea, just start typing. And easier or better would be that you just speak your idea into your mobile. There are a lot of speech to text conversion tools now available. These days I'm making my I'm speaking my documents instead of writing them. And it's very convenient. So the people who build on these ideas, express them in, them in some manner, they again are going to make the difference. When you develop the idea, you make a plan around it. That's how, how you are going to execute. And all of us are very emotional about our ideas. He was to work karegai. It will change thousands of lives. It will change the pe way people live. We are so much attached to our idea. And then we take it to a friend. Or we discuss it with a colleague. Or some member in the family. You are already bloated like a balloon by the thoughts, by the way you have developed your idea. But someone will come and Break that balloon with a pin. Boom, your idea vanishes. 
lot of great ideas they die this silent death because the person who was having that idea was not convinced enough did not have that belief maybe that person trusted others instincts more than himself or herself but still there are some of us who are determined enough to follow their heart who will still and who are thick skinned to sail through all the negativities or all the counter reasons hundreds of reasons why that idea won't work they sail through all those negativities and they come to the next stage that is action and these ideas they are not necessarily be a business ideas people who are working in job you are doing some work you get ideas related to your work so don't confuse that anyone who has got an idea has to start a business has to become an entrepreneur it's it's not it's not always true you get ideas about the work that you are doing in your job also so if you are in a job and you get an idea related to your work talk to the management talk to your seniors instead of anybody else take their buy in make an action plan and then go enter into the third stage which is enact and if you are having an idea of a business then some of us will definitely come out of their comfort zone right leave your jobs i left my job in 2007 and i had to face lot of questions starting from my parents and then your friends then relatives and then their relatives your neighbors everybody so you need to face all those questions and take a decision this is the most challenging phase of this journey envision express and enact there are lot of ups and downs in this journey it's it's like a ride roller coaster rides there are lots of ups and downs we enjoy when we are going up we also enjoy when we are going down when we are going down it's like a free fall it's a scary but still we enjoy why because we know that it's again going to go up so that's the kind of belief or strength or confidence you need in that in this stage enactment lot of these startups i do not have a correct data but as we see and as we observe around us lot of startups they die in first couple of years one or two years because the person who was driving was not able to enjoy that first free fall and it happened with me i started my first venture in year 2001 that was a software development company because i i am a computer engineer so that was a very very obvious obvious choice we were doing well we got good contracts initially good clients but then world trade tower went down and the whole internet bubble it kind of burst all big companies they paused their investments in it and i already had a plan b this is another thing when we make when when we are in enactment stage and we are not so confident about our idea we make a plan b and whenever you have a plan b most of the times it will get executed so i had a plan b to go back to cadence and i went back january 2001 we started and november 2001 i was back to cadence 
again I worked there for about six years till 2007. Then in 2007, again I took that plunge. But this time, again, there were ups and downs, but this time I had more confidence, belief in the idea that was that where I, which I was work, working on. Although there was a recession again in 2008, but we remained stuck to the idea, remained stuck to our plan, and we recently completed 11 years. So this enactment stage is very, very important. It's a journey. And as far as entrepreneurship is concerned, I believe that this journey is a process of self-development. Some people develop faster, so they become successful, their enterprise becomes successful sooner, and some take time to develop themselves. So my company or my enterprise, we, we are not a unicorn. We are not like Flipkart or Srap Deals or Oyo. But yes, we are doing decently. So everybody, any, I believe this, everybody has a target for themselves. Either they are doing job or profession or entrepreneurship. And they have their share of successes and challenges. Everybody has a story to tell. Story of success, failures, fears, reactions. So I will briefly share my story, some, some of the incidences from my story. And you'll be able to relate because I'm sure you, you all have a story yourself. And I'm still a work in progress. I'm not done yet. So when I was in my primary school, I was not performing well in studies. Sometimes I flunked in the semester or trimester exams. But somehow I could manage to clear all the standards in one year itself. I didn't have to repeat. I realized that I, I was not dumb. I was doing work, I was doing hard work, but still I was not able to get the desired result. And I realized the problem was in the medium of teaching, the language, English. I come from a rural background. I belong to Vajirpur village, which is in Delhi itself. And yes, Delhi is made of villages. There are hundreds of villages in Delhi. My village is about 800 years old. So because of the rural background and there was no atmosphere of English at home, I struggled. So when I completed my primary, although I wanted to perform well, I wanted to make my family proud, but this language barrier was hurting me. So I requested my father to admit me into a Hindi medium school. And he somehow accepted my request and he got me admitted in a government school nearby. So in the in sixth standard in government schools in Hindi medium, all the subjects were in Hindi except English. And that English also was very basic, like BAT, BAT, CAT, CAT, we used to study in sixth standard. At least that much I knew by the time I completed my primary. So in the first trimester exams, I stood first in the class. And when my class teacher announced the results, he asked me to stand up and asked the whole, whole class to clap for me. That sound of clapping was a music to my ears. And that echo of that clapping still resonates in my ears. And that was what kept me performing in the years to come. Because I always wanted to remain in the good books of my teachers. I wanted to earn that respect. So I first envisioned that, that I want to make my family proud. I was facing problems in the language. But I made a decision, made a plan, and made a decision that I should go and study in Hindi medium school. 
there I enacted that plan and got the desired result. So first goal achieved, job done. So that's how we all need to think. We all need to implement this uh, theme. I am very, uh, I relate th with this theme very much because there are a whole lot of incidences where we always can map them to these three words, envision, express and enactment. Thank you.